Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know obviously there have not been videos up for like four or five days. Um, I wasn't actually at the studio today, so I wanted to put this video up really fast just to explain what's been going on uh, in case any of you were wondering. So I apologize for my voice as well. Uh, I'm a little bit sick. Everybody at the studio has been taking turns getting sick basically uh, because YouTube space, while having tons of resources and everything, is a meat locker. And if you were watching the main show on Wednesday, you probably saw my voice just completely go out at the end of the first hour. Uh, and so I'm recuperating. Anyway, um, because we've been at the YouTube space and we're still getting used to the new workflow and our new hours and Jank being out for the whole week, that's why I wasn't able to film um, videos. I am hoping to do so very soon. Um, I'm trying to resist the urge to just like quickly read a news story and then give you my off-the-cuff uh, uh, like opinions. I try not to do that as much as possible. I try to actually research and come up with what I think are actually useful opinions that can help you and, you know, the people you relay the videos to see the story in a new way. Um, and since I don't have the time to do that right now, I'm going to wait until tomorrow. Furthermore, um, we're going to be in the YouTube space for probably another month or so, I guess. Uh, I don't know uh, how many videos I'll be able to do in those weeks. I'm hoping to go back to the normal schedule as soon as possible. I imagine once we move into our new permanent studio, I'll be able to do at least as many videos as I was doing before. And in the meantime, I do want to have the capability to do more videos at home, but I only want to do that if they can be of uh, as at least as good quality as the videos that I shoot in the studio. And so I'm working behind the scenes to uh, make the videos look better, sound better in every way possible. I mean, you're seeing this, this massive new mic with a pop filter on it in front of you right now. Uh, in the final version of my shots, that should not appear at all. Um, and right now I'm shooting this actually on my brand new uh, Rebel T3i DSLR that I just bought after doing tons of research and I'm totally wiped just trying to come up with what camera to buy. Anyway, I got this one, a DSLR, and so hopefully once I actually learn how to use it, since I have no clue what I'm doing right now, uh, the videos will look better, they'll look as good as the stuff we do in the studios, that's my goal. Um, you know, in terms of the graphics and the sound and everything, I want it to be as high quality as possible. Um, I don't want you guys to, to suffer in terms of how it looks and sounds, just to get, you know, the opinions, you know, coming from a personality that I, I hope you trust at least a little bit at this point. Um, and yeah, obviously the shot looks horrible right now, I don't know what I'm doing. Just bear with me if you have suggestions in terms of, um, you know, knowledge about cameras and audio and stuff like that. I'm doing some courses on lynda.com on compression and equalization stuff. It's basically, this is just a big learning experience for me, and, and I enjoy doing it. Um, hopefully, you guys will stick around as I improve. I'm actually going to be moving soon. I'm hoping to set up sort of a dedicated shot space so it will actually look good and it won't just be basically my dorm room, um, because that's pretty unprofessional, of course. And yeah, um, I'm sure many of you are probably not interested in this behind the scenes sort of inside baseball stuff, but for those of you who are, uh, every once in a while do little checkups like this so you know what's going on. I don't want you to think that I just fell off the face of the earth or that all of a sudden the shots look completely weird because meh, there's actually reasons why stuff goes to crap. Uh, but anyway, hopefully it will improve over time and if you have suggestions, I of course always want to hear them. So. Fingers crossed, in the next day or two, uh, the political and news stories on my personal channel will start coming back up in the way that you're used to. Uh, we just recently got TYTU videos going back up in the normal schedule. Um, so, fingers crossed, we'll get back to normal. Hope you enjoy.